say uh, uh, firmware or your AVM meter controller, you won't be able to uh, put your instructions to the, uh, for example, sh your shell code into it in a simple way. Because whenever what you put into the data memory, which you could access if you have a report, for example, it won't be executed at all because the hardware architecture and modified hardware architecture uh, things could only execute uh, from instruction memory, which is physically separated from data. However, we're still able to exploit, and I will try to show an example. Unfortunately, uh, unfortunately, I don't think that you saw what's written there. Uh, sorry. But uh, what is written there is just use on off to turn on off the light and you have only three seconds to make a choice. So it's the basic pro uh, program that just controls the uh, LED. Uh, on this board, and you can uh, put on or off. Uh, and if you put uh, something, for example, on, the LED will be switched on. If you put off, uh, the LED will be switched off. Uh, and uh, uh, the problem is that this program contains the buffer overflow, the simple buffer overflow. Mm, I could show you the original pro uh, program. So you could easily see. Uh, and as you can see here, we have uh, the, I put it here for, uh, for simplicity of this exploit. Uh, in future we will talk about more complex things to exploit. But here we have the buffer for here when we uh, rewriting the buffer and smashing up this order of the buffer. So, uh, but how could we exploit? Because now we could overwrite under the stack. We could smash the stack, the simplest things. But we could not uh, inject our own code. And what uh, I uh, do here is just uh, sending some <coughs> exploit to it. And as you can see, it starts work works on its own. So it already has injected code. I have no uh, interaction with it. The LED is blinking, and uh, the software is uh, continue to work without my own interaction because I planted and exploited. I planted user code in it. How I done it? Let's look into the exploit view. Use. The midnight calendar has the editor. And what I can see in the exploit is this is the heading string from A to J. And here I see some repeating numbers. And what is this repeating numbers is the addresses. Addresses in memory. So I think everybody knows what is rock chain. So this is just rock chain that uh, interacts with the instruction memory and uh, this part of the exploit overwrites the stack when we smash into the stack it overwrites the same uh, instruction pointers on stack and so this is here our uh, rock chain with rock gadgets and uh, I could try to for example let's summarize some number for example uh, one vf uh, let's look into the radar. Uh, 
So this is the firmware, uh, and I call uh, the number one DF. I need to multiply it by two. Why I need to do it? Uh, I will show you a bit later. Minutes. Let's move here. And you can see that uh, we are calling function. Okay, sorry, because this. Uh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> okay, so first we'll help. Okay, uh, so as you can see here, this is just the uh, uh, procedure with red. So we use this as a part of our chain. Uh, and so, in this case, the hacking and uh, the way reversing and exploiting of uh, AVRs doesn't differ much from the <coughs> traditional architectures, but what we need to do is uh, to find the exact rock gadget. We need also to understand the problem that this is a microcontroller. So when you start to uh, exploit, for example, visual program, uh, you could have some hooks, for example, functions that interact with 